G'day guys, we've got a coordinate geometry question today. We've got two circles, A and B, that have centres at 1, negative 2 and 4, comma 3. Circle A has a radius of 2 and circle B has a radius of 3. Now we're asked to find if the circles overlap and if not, what is the smallest distance between them? So we're, there are basically three different outcomes that we can have when we have overlapping circle style questions. One where the circles don't overlap, one where they overlap once, and one where they overlap twice. Now where they don't overlap, it's pretty self-explanatory that the distance between the two centers is going to be greater than the combined radius of the two circles. Where they overlap once, it basically means that the distances between the two centers are equal to the combined radius. And where they overlap twice, it's when the distance between the two centers is less than the combined radius of the two circles. So basically what we have to do in a question like this is figure out what the distance is between the two centers of the circles. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to employ this distance formula, which is just a permutation of the Pythagorean sort of principle, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So what we're going to do, I'm going to rewrite this bit of information here where we have our two points, a and b. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter these two points into this formula. So we're going to have the distance is going to be equal to the square root of 4 take 1 all squared plus 3 minus negative 2 all squared, which we'll find will come out to the square root of 9 plus 25, which is equal to the square root of 34 which is approximately 5.83 units. Now, so this is the distance between our two centers of the circles. Now, what we've got is we've got a circle A with radius 2 and circle B of radius 3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the radiuses together. And we find that the radius of A plus the radius of B is equal to 5. Now what we can see guys is that the distance between the two centers of the circles is greater than the combined radius. So you can see that we're going to fit into this scenario here. So what we find guys is the difference between the combined radius and the distance is going to be the smallest distance between them, or in the picture, this distance here. So the smallest distance between the two circles is going to be equal to 5.83 subtract 5, or 0 0.83 units. Cool. So let's just go through how we did this problem again, guys. First of all, we established that there are three different outcomes that we can get from these circle distances or uh, circle geometry questions. We can have two circles that don't intercept. They intercept once and they intercept twice. And there are specific properties of each. Now, what we then do is we use the distance between the two centers along with the combined radius to figure out which one of these three outcomes our question falls into. And we found it was this outcome here, number one. So what we did then is we found the difference between the distance and the combined radii to find what the smallest distance was between them. And then we came out with a, a solution of 0 0.83 units. So I guess, guys, that there's not very much to a question like this. It's just understanding what the outcomes could be and visualizing what the uh, formulas actually give us in terms of real-world application, in terms of how these numbers fit into these pictures. But I guess, you know, you've seen this video. If you've practiced it a couple of times by yourself, I'm sure you wouldn't have any problem in tackling a question like this in a test or an exam. It's just a case of a few practice goes and you'll be fine. So if the video helped, guys, definitely give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel out a lot. Subscribe. I put out new videos like this all the time. And I would love to hear any of your feedback. If you want to, leave it in the comments section below. And 
If you have any problems that you'd like me to have a go at solving, also leave them in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, just keep on practicing, 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 but most of all, just keep enjoying your maths.